All right, so we've already got the brake cylinder in place. <clears throat> um, if you're replacing one of those, just be careful putting the, uh, the fitting on in the back. Um, and the two, uh, I forget what those things are called, but the, the pistons, basically. Yeah. Um, and then, so now we're going to grease the uh, friction points for the pads, which you'll see them there, little pads all around the... And then we'll also grease the pivot pin, too. High temp grease, of course. Okay. All right, so next we'll uh, uh, grease the uh, adjuster with some heavy-duty silicone. The adjuster screw assembly. And we'll wind that all the way in. <laughs> Put the cap on it. Okay. Now we'll assemble the. Here's the the, the first trick: is to pre-assemble the shoes with the spring and the adjuster. And uh, remember, the uh, the bigger shoe, and you'll see that when you compare them, that the one shoe pad is longer than the other, and that one is the primary and goes to the rear. So let me just show them that. So you can see how the spring is set in there. But the long end comes in from underneath. Like that. Yeah. And then the, the short end goes over top uh, from front to back. That works out easier. All right, so then the next step is you take that <clears throat> and then you grab the uh, parking brake lever as you're picking this up and then you hang it. that in the slot there. And when you're doing this on a lift, um, it's a little easier because you get straight line view. So some of these things that we're doing here, um, is so that you can do it yourself here on. One of those things was to put the strut, sorry, couldn't get the name there. Um, we just had it setting there on the hub so that it was already in position. And then as you're putting this together, you wanna line that, that spring and the strut into that, uh, actually it goes up one there, yep. And then uh, the other one goes over there and it goes around both the parking brake lever and the shoe. And then of course you got to needle with it a little bit and get the pistons lined up in their slots. Okay. And then what happens is um, uh, you touch it a little bit too much and it's going to want to fall. So if you're doing this yourself, if you have somebody to help you, you can just get them to hold them in place. But what I found was useful is take a couple tie straps and strap the shoes at the top around the um, the the, pi the pivot up there, or the, the spring holder pin, whatever you call it. So that's what we're going to do here. And 
And then before we tighten them, we'll just make sure everything is still in position. And then uh, strap them nice and tight so that it holds it in place. And then that'll help you as you're maneuvering the other things. And just make sure you get the strap over the top. Don't let it come into the little slot piece there because that's where you're going to be putting spring heads and stuff. So, all right. So then the next step will be to install the adjuster lever. And to start, we'll put the pin through the back and into the hole where the spring adjuster is going. And then get over on the other side so that you can see that. the pin through the back there. And we're going to take a piece of duct tape, or in our case, the Gorilla Tape. Slap that on the back so that the pin stays pushed through. Because when you're trying to put the spring and the, the seat and the, uh, the lever on, you know, it wants to get out of position every 10 seconds. So, um, the tape will hold it in place so that you can do those things. And again, you just put some tape around the back there. Nice big piece because I'm sure it's rusty and greasy back there. <clears throat> and then put the retainer cap in the spring. And another tip, make sure you got a, a brake shoe tool that's big enough. Because if it's not big enough, it's going to want to slide all the time. simple. All right. And then, uh, <clears throat> okay, so then the next step is the spring on the other side. And this one's a little easier, but you can still put the tape on the back once you've got the pin in. I like the tape. Tape is good. Tape is good. Real tape's good too because it's real good and sticky. Slide the retainer on. And that's where a tool that has a bigger cup is real helpful because it helps it retain a little bit. But you can see we made it happen with that. So <clears throat> Okay. Alright. So then the next step is the springs. This isn't going yet. Nope. And you have to put the little oval thing on first. things. Looking on my diagram, see what it's called. The 
shoe guide plate. Da, da, da. All right, so the net spring gets hooked in that way. Okay, so we got that one on there. <clears throat> and then the white spring, the short with the long end, And there you have it. Right tool wins the day. Alright, so then the other spring. shoe. One of the things I noticed too is it almost seems a little um, um, a little strange how or counterintuitive is the word I was going for um, how the the hook of that spring sits like underneath. It almost looks like it wants to come out but they don't. So Got the two stacked on top of each other like that, and uh, you are handily breaking my record of putting this together. <clears throat> oh, and then this this one's kind of strange too, but how this fits together. But you start by taking the last bracket there. The actuator lever and spring and you've got to slip it underneath let me see if I can get a good shot of that you got to slip it underneath there and then it hooks into the tab at the bottom see that and then it lays underneath and clips up like that okay and then the spring and it holds it in place. That's the adjuster lever that's going to sit on top of the adjuster uh, tube there. And you have to crawl underneath and ratchet that thing up to get better brake tension. And guess what? You're done wasn't so bad. Well, I wasn't doing it, so. <clears throat> so the last thing we're going to do is um, um, just to make the drum fit on better. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we, uh, we have an issue. Oh, uh, what's that? Oh, it popped off. That's okay. You can actually get that back on. I, I had to do that, so. There you go. See that? Crisis averted. Hey, we have to cut these out. And then we'll cut out the straps. No, oh, I gotta get you clippers. Hold on. Hold on. See? Clippers. Or dikes or side cutters, whatever you want to call them. Did I hear a little chortle over there? Well, yeah, a little one. <clears throat> hey, I didn't get a harump out of that guy. Harump, <laughs> All right. So then we'll take, and if you're lucky enough to have a nice big calipers, what we'll do is we'll measure <clears throat> the center and uh, find out what uh, size it is and then we'll measure the new drum and we'll try and get it adjusted out so that we don't have to crawl underneath and do like 10 minutes of ratcheting that thing up so to get it nice and close uh, so that we only have to do some minor adjustment once the drum is on so 
I'll measure it across the center. Like so. Isn't that the tightening screw? Uh, I'm not sure it works, but. Okay. Let me check the size. Or so we're looking at what? Um, uh, should be 10, about ten something. Seven. Right? Yep. And so forth. And then when we measure the drum, it's probably going to be almost eleven. Eleven. Right. So when I did the adjustment, I adjusted it all the way up to ten nine, a little over ten nine, and that was a good fit. So we'll see how this side does. But the long end comes in from underneath. Like that. Yeah. And then the, the short end goes over top uh, from front to back. That works out easier. There we go. Get it to what did I say? Yeah, ten nine and like two or three. Ten nine and a half, maybe that probably a little too tight. Point is, come within, you know, like just maybe eight thousandths of or eight hundredths of where you need to be on the shoe, so that you don't have to do so much crawling underneath and adjusting. feeling it but it sounds right it feels how, did nice. you, how did the other side feel well, let's go take a feel do you want to feel this side yeah I already know what that one feels like oh yeah what do you think I think that's good let me but let's compare it to that side Much tighter? Much tighter. Feel that one. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if that's almost too tight, actually. Right? Might have to come back a little on this Yeah. One. But, uh, you know, for as far as the job is concerned, that's what's involved, so... Thanks for watching and uh, listening to our stupid jokes and tolerating our mess ups and dislike my mess ups sorry mine too <laughs> see you later youtubers <laughs>